Okay, so the whole point here of this tutorial is to create our own custom theme, right? So right now we're using a default theme. You may have this theme activated. This is called 2016 by WordPress. Um, it could be this theme or some other theme, but we're going to use our own theme that we've just added and we're going to build up from scratch so we can control every single detail about the look and feel and really have a custom website of our own that we can be proud of. So what we're going to do, and remember, you know, there are, there's this workflow, right? So this is the home page or whatever page we're looking at, kind of the public view of the site. This is what the public would see. Over here is our admin section. This is where we add our content and change things as we just discussed, settings and that kind of thing. And then over here, we're going to add our code. So these three tabs you want to typically have open when you're developing a WordPress site so that you can kind of go in between. So what we're going to do is go over here to the admin view, go to appearances, and then choose themes as the submenu item right there. And what we're going to do is activate the theme we've just created, our custom theme. Okay, it should be named custom theme or whatever you named it in your style sheet. Okay, so I'm going to click activate. Now it's moved up to the front. It's active now. Okay, so you may have other themes in here, but that's okay. Let's look over at our homepage now and refresh it. So command R to refresh or just hit the refresh button. And there we go. We have a blank slate. There's nothing there. And that's because we don't have any code yet to pull stuff from our posts over here. Okay. So I click post and go to our, our only blog post right now. This stuff is stored in our database. We need to reach into our database using code and display it. But right now we're not displaying anything. So let's get that going just so we can learn how that works. I'm going to go over here and remember you can pause the screen as much as you need to, to follow along and really absorb what I'm kind of covering here. So what I'm going to do is go to WP content. Okay. And then go to themes, open up that folder as well. And then we're going to open up our custom theme folder. Okay. Now in here, like I said, there are two essential files for a theme to work. There's the style.css file. That's for fonts and colors. We're going to add code in there for that kind of thing. And then over here we have index.php and that's a template file. By default, you have to have it. It has to be spelled exactly like that. Now, if there are no other template files, this acts as our home page. So let's double click it. And let's just add some HTML in here. Okay. So I'm just going to type out a heading one tag and it gives me my closing tag automatically in cloud nine. And in between those tags, I'm going to add some content. Just whatever, just some line of code. I'm going to save that with command S on a Mac on windows. You can use control S to save. My server is running as we can see over here and we can see down here as well. So I'm going to go over here to my home page now, not the admin page, and I'm going to refresh. And there we go. Now our home page is displaying whatever we added in our index.php file. And that's because we don't have any other files in there. This defaults as our home page. That's just how WordPress works. So let's go ahead now and display dynamic content. So this, whatever we added here, this is hard coded in. This is just some HTML that we've hard coded in, it's always going to show up no matter what. But if we want to add blogs and really bring the content management system to life, then we need to use uh, some code that will lift this out of the database, this content that we're seeing in here, images, videos, whatever, and display it on our page. So of course, this homepage looks really ugly right now. And we're going to get to that in a bit, you know, spice it up and make it look good. But for now, let's just get it to dynamically pull out content. That's what we call uh, dynamically generated content. Okay. And we're going to do it like this using PHP code. So go ahead and delete that line of HTML. If you save your file and go over here and refresh, we've got a blank slate again. Okay. Now go over here to your cloud nine editor and in this index file, write this code with me. And make sure that you do not have any typos. The biggest error that students make is typos. By far, 99% of the problems come from typos. So watch these lines very carefully. Get every character down perfect. So that's a colon there. Then a closing PHP tag. And I'm going to write this out and we're going to explain it later. So let's just focus on writing it and seeing what happens. 
Okay, so this is an if statement, and inside of it, we're going to add some more code. Notice I use my tab key to tab inward, and you do that whenever you're nesting inside of a block of code. This is a block of code, lines one and four. So anything inside lines one and four needs to be nested. There's another colon there, and then the underscore post. And one thing that I need to make sure, I was talking about typos, I already made one, so you want to have an S after the posts here, but not after this one. This should be singular. So these are plural, have posts, and then this is going to be singular. Add a semicolon there, and then we close out that PHP tag. This is a block, so we're going to close this block as well. And I'll explain what all this means if you're kind of new to PHP. And then in here, I tab yet another level deep. So that's two tabs in. Okay, so tab one and tab again. And in here, we're just going to say PHP and output the content of our blog post in there. Add our semicolon. Okay, so pause as, as needed, as much as you need to. Take your time to make sure you've written this exactly right. Typos are the number one mistake when you're doing tutorials. So I'm going to save this now. So Command-S and Control-S on, on Windows to save. Command-S on Mac. And I'm going to space this out as well really quick while we're here, just so you can see this clearly. Okay, so I'm going to save that again. And now let's go over to our home page and refresh. And there we go. Now we're pulling out from the database dynamically, we are pulling out this content right here. This body of our first blog post that was added by WordPress by default when we installed uh, WordPress to Cloud9. So that text is this text right here from our admin section. So if I add something to it, like this is inside of our admin section and I hit update it updates and then if I go over here and refresh now it's updating it's pulling it dynamically from the database okay so next we're gonna explain how this works